Another week of the Fisherman's Guide for you. We're back on the freshwater with our resident bass pro, Randy Deschamps of Champs Outdoors. We're on a private lake here in South Mississippi, and I tell you what, farm ponds and lakes, that's what I grew up fishing bass on, and it's a lot of fun. It is. We just got the camera rolling, and this is number three in the boat, and believe it or not, I'm catching them on a voodoo mullet. This is one of our saltwater baits, but these bass are eating it up. See what else we can put on camera for you today. The Fisherman's Guide presented by the Hollywood Casino. Today's episode brought to you by Ocean Marine, Sportsman's Boats, Sport Trail Trailers, Soundwaves Marine Outfitters, Pass Purchasing, Crystal Seas, The Spine Institute, Hook, Gulf Coast Cuisine, Egret Baits, Matrix Shad, Cedar Swamp Outfitters, Pure Fishing, Counting Solutions for the Small Business, Parker Poles, Mojo, Salt Life Optics. Freshwater again today with my good buddy Randy Deachan. He's our bass pro here at the Fisherman's Guide. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Mm -hmm. No. No, he ain't hit it. Fish on. There he is. Another one. Yeah, what we're doing like out here today, uh, this particular lake, every fish we catch under 16 inches long, we take out. Um, that's good for the, lets the bigger fish get bigger. Um, they don't have to compete as much against the smaller fish. When you get a pond and you don't take the smaller fish out, your bigger fish just quit, you don't have that many, they quit growing. Um, it's harder for them to get their food because they're having to fight against the little fish so much. Um, those little fish will eat all your bait up quick. Um, if you take out so many a year, it, biologists come at this lake here, the biologists come out and check it out and, and say what number needs to be taken out, and that's what we do. Uh, he keeps it fertilized and limed, and uh, re really pond management means a lot. And if you don't take the fish out, the smaller fish, you're never going to have bigger fish. So they'll come in, they do a, a fish count and an estimation. Right. And they give him a number of certain size fish that need to come out of it to keep it healthy. And all that generates trophy size trophy fish. Trophy size right? fish. That's exactly. the ultimate goal. And that's that's what it's all about managing the pond is to get the trophy size fish, get all your smaller ones out. That way you don't have as much competition for the available food and the bigger fish can do better. You get right? bigger, right. They don't have to compete against them. Dang him, Randy. Yeah, another little one. Good job. Yeah, another little pretty fish. <laughs> Randy's throwing that one in the ice chest. Y'all stick around, we'll be back right after this. It's the one and only Players Club for the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. The all new Marquee Rewards at Hollywood Casino and Boomtown Casino. Now with even more benefits that you can take with you to exciting destinations like Chicago and fabulous Las Vegas. It's the all new Marquee Rewards exclusively at Hollywood Casino Gulf Coast and Boomtown Casino Biloxi. Fisherman's Guide. 
Today we're here at Cedar Swamp. This is a store that carries what catches fish. For your next outing, freshwater, saltwater, inshore or offshore, Cedar Swamp's got the gear that works. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With yacht caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. Man, look at the water moccasin. Fish on. There he is. A little bitty one. Dance for me, girl. Pretty little fish. Large mouth bass, South Mississippi. Now Randy, what size did you say uh, we were keeping here? Everything under 16 inches. And that one is well going in the ice chest. Ice chest. chest. Wait till you hook one in there and try to take the rod out of your hand. He ain't getting my favorite rod. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's a jumper. Oh, oh, got me on the tree. Come here. They didn't have a little bit of slack. Not much, but a little bit. He'll pull, usually he'll pull back off of it. If he ain't wrapped it. There he goes. <laughs> job, bud. That is a pretty healthy little bass right there. A lot of fun, lot. jumping, dancing. He tried to wrap us around that tree, he tried but he to didn't get, get it done. Yep. I'm throwing a pumpkin seed colored lizard here. Randy's throwing a neutral colored worm as well. And just working it through all these, uh, just working it through all these treetops that they got in here. They got a lot of structure in here for these bass to hide behind. You can see how pretty and healthy they are. That one's just under 14. He's going home with us. He's going home. Yep, he'll make some good fillets. Where's our clicker at, Randy? On the seat, up in the seat right there. Right here, let's see. Yes, We've the been... water's in the 70s today, uh, which is really a good good number for catching the fish, but it happens to be is prime week for spawn. We've had a few of them already spawn out, but uh, like I said, when it's 70 degree, uh, full moon, it's really tough conditions with a bluebird sky. Um, it's not a very good combination. Clear water, bluebird sky is really usually the hardest time to fish for these bass. Today we're talking about one of the worst things on the boat. It's whenever you hear that crack or that snap and you have a quality rod broken in half. Another pro tip from the Fisherman's Guide, we got Brad Parker, Parker's Poles out here with us. He's gonna give you two little tips to hopefully prevent you from breaking a nice rod in the future. The number one thing with rod 
failures is actually is caused by the person behind the rod. Most of them are due to high sticking, and that is actually using the rod to lift the fish into the boat. Rods aren't built for that, certainly the newer ones are the light sensitive rods. High sticking a fish into the boat will avoid anybody's warranty and most of the time definitely will break a rod. Um, the other thing what I see with most of your rod failures is overlining your rods. With these new braids that have really, really small ODs, you get a lot of people wanting to run 30, 40, even 80 pound braid on a rod that is meant to only have maybe 15 or 20 pound braid. They crank the drag down, set the hook, that almost always ensures a rod failure. And you know, Brad, I mean, we all swing a small trout in the boat, maybe even a little rat red. But the main thing is grab a net. You got an eight, nine, 10 pound fish, this rod's not meant to lift that and swing it into the boat. That's where you end up breaking it. Don't get lazy. Pull the rod out, pull the net out, net your fish, get them in the boat. You won't lose the fish either. Y'all be sure to check us out on Facebook. Give us a like while you're there. Come back and see us next week. It's Fisherman's Guide. Fish on. Steg him. There you go. Come on, baby, dance for us. He don't want to come up. I don't even dance. But... Pretty fish. Better. On the worm. Nice little fish. There he is, under the tree. All right. You got a jumper, Ronnie. Hey, he's a fat one, too. Nice little belly on him. Well, I'll tell you what, he ate it. Way down in there. And that's exactly what we're looking for to take out of here for this man. They're great fish, really healthy, but you gotta get these smaller ones out and let the bigger ones grow. The last time I was in here, I threw up there about six or eight times, and finally I had one. Look at that one coming out yeah, of the back, back there. Yeah, I got him coming after. Yep. Threw up there five or six times, and finally he had a five pounder eat it. Maybe been eight or ten times, but kept throwing and throwing, and finally, whop. Ooh, there he goes. There he is, fish on it. That little nice little fish, a little bigger one. Healthy. What's fish that side? That fish, what, gonna be about 15 inches? What's that weight? Yeah, he probably pound and three quarters, pound and a half. He's a little over 15 inches long. Yep. I know you've heard us say it before, but Randy has got the only licensed sales and service center for 
Minn Kota and oh, Motor Guy, Motor right? Guy, right. <clears throat> Authorized factory. On the Mississippi Yonkey. coast. And we were talking about problems with trolling motors. What were you telling me the number one problem is you see coming in? Battery maintenance. You know, on them, uh, a lot of people don't keep them charged up. The uh, breakers on them go bad. Um, you know, need to check the water in them every so often. They're going to lose water. <laughs> And every so often, Look, we mean more than once every three years. Oh, so. yeah, exactly. I mean, every three to six months, you need to check your water level. Um, check all your connections. Low amperage will burn, off, burn your uh, trolling motors up. And whenever we talk about checking that water level, you know, a lot of these batteries are non-maintenance nowadays, but if you've got the standard cell batteries like most of us do, there's the little square caps on the top. You pop them off. And there's a little plastic flange that goes down in there. The water should be right at the bottom right of that. Right at the bottom right? of it, right. Right at the bottom of that flange. And uh, never <laughs> add acid to them. And then the other thing you want to check, and this is something you need to check pretty regular, is pull your prop off. Check for lime behind your prop. Uh, one of the number one things, people come in, have lime behind it. And I, I haven't broke my line. It's not, you know, it can't be. It's not your line you really have to worry about. Most time, else's. right. Most time you get up in these grass flats. Well, if somebody broke off their lines gonna be laying across the top of the grass. You cut through it with the trolling motor and wrap it up. And never know it's on there. And there's seals around that shaft. Around that and shaft. Once that line gets in there, it tears that seal up. Your electric and motor fills up with water, right? Right, fills up with water. And once it fills up with water, it's you know, water and electricity don't match. They don't go together. Hey, number one thing with anything on a boat. Is maintaining it. Last right. thing you want to do is get out there and ruin a fishing trip over a small problem that could have been cured before you ever even left the dock. Exactly. I've seen fishing line, you know, a little five dollar spool of fishing line cost people hundreds of dollars. And, you know, yeah, because these trolling motors and the parts that go on them nowadays ain't they, cheap. They're not cheap. The technology they have in them <laughs> nowadays, they're not cheap at all. Let's go find us another good one. Yes. Oh, Ooh, better one. <laughs> A little bit better. Yeah. Acting better. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He ain't as big as I thought he sounded. Chunky little fella, but he made some racket whenever yes, I set he the did. hook, didn't he? <laughs> that was pretty fish. Yep. Getting bigger. Yeah, they're getting a little better. That one make 15 inches. Man, I got to tell you, Randy, I really appreciate you bringing us out here today to catch these. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I appreciate you having me. I get, it's just as exciting feeling that little tick on that worm as it is whenever you feel it on that jig for oh, speckled yeah. trout. Absolutely. Hey, me and Randy are going to keep looking for some bigger fish. Y'all stick around, we'll be back right after this. It's the one and only Players Club for the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. The all new Marquee Rewards at Hollywood Casino and Boomtown Casino. Now with even more benefits that you can take with you to exciting destinations like Chicago and fabulous Las Vegas. It's the all new Marquee Rewards exclusively at Hollywood Casino Gulf Coast and Boomtown Casino Biloxi. Fresh seafood has been a Gulf Coast tradition for centuries. Today, Pass Purchasing is the only open-air seafood market in Mississippi, bringing a variety of locally caught and gourmet boat-fresh seafood to families and businesses of the Gulf Coast. Pass Purchasing is also a fuel dock and an ice plant, open seven days a week. Pass Purchasing in the Pass Christiane Harbor, wholesale seafood to the public. From the Gulf to your table. 
So. Yeah, the water in this lake is kind of clear, so it's kind of hard when it's slick, you know, real clear. Fish see you real well, long cast. Um, they see the baits better. You get a little wind on the water, it's better. Winds and cloud, really good combination on clear water lakes. You don't see them, you never hardly see any fish in here. Every now and then you'll see them cruising the bank, but, but doing like we're doing, you never see a fish leave a log or nothing. And then you catch the kind of fish you catch in here. The numbers and all, it's amazing. This is what we're talking about. Now, Randy is guaranteeing us a 10 plus pounder in these kind of conditions. <laughs> uh, Money back, guarantee. Oh, there he is. on you. Got him? Yeah. He ain't 10, but he's good. Another good one. Good fish, Randy. Yep. Yeah. This one spawned out a little skinny in the belly. But we'll take it. Nice fish for the day. Seventeen inch. We'll go swim again. Fish on. Oh, good fish. Another good one. Got the wind and the fish are a little better. Fish, nice right? fish. That's Three pounder there. Four, four yeah, he's, he is. Yeah, he's getting bigger and bigger as I look at him. Nice fish. That's the kind you want to have. What's wrong, bud? It's a good job. Finally, a four pounder for the day. Let's see how long he is. Rinse him off. 18 inches long. Nice one. Oh, over the log he goes. Pretty fish, too. <laughs> Another nice one. Oh, got a little bit of blood coming out of him. I don't want to turn him. He swallowed this one. He was hungry. Oh, yeah. All right, I got him off of the first log. Now he's got me on the second one. I don't know if I'll be able to get this. There we go. Come on, off there. There we go. Oh, and there's the third log. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come here. <laughs> wow. Now that's a good that's one, Ronnie. That's a good fish there. That's what we've been looking for, bud. That's it. Not bad for a double of the day. No, first double of the day. Springtime, largemouth bass fishing in South Mississippi. It that don't is get fine. Much no, better. it don't. Sure don't. Y'all stick around. Let's see what Chef Corey's got in store for us today. Hey guys, Chef Corey Hudson here again at Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Today we're going to be doing andouille crusted oysters. Today we're going to be frying oysters and we're not going to do it the traditional way with corn flour or corn meal and a cocktail and a tartar sauce. We're going to do an andouille crusted oyster. And the oysters, I get mine through Crystal Seas. Um, they're a long family operated uh, processing plant here in Past Christiane. And they also have past purchasing over in the Past Christian Harbor where they do seafood, fresh seafood, uh, shrimp, oysters, crawfish. They have a fuel dock and they also have a buying dock to where they buy the oysters directly from the fishermen. But to start this recipe, we're gonna need about one link of andouille sausage. You can get it at any grocery store. 
We're gonna chop it up real fine and we're gonna saute it. Basically the sausage is already cooked, but what we're wanting to do is render all that fat out of it, get all that grease because we're gonna add it to about a cup of panko breadcrumbs. After we get the breading made, we're gonna get about a cup of white flour. We're gonna dredge the oysters in white flour, about six oysters. We're gonna dip them into eggs, and then we're gonna put them into our breading. Now what that flour and that egg does, it creates somewhat of a glue to where the oysters will stick to the breading. Always flavor, or always season any flour that you're gonna use. Then we're gonna put it in the fryer for about two minutes at 350 degrees. And when it comes up, we're gonna put it over a bed of baby spinach and top it with a Creole remoulade sauce. Now with a lot of fried foods, a lot of people like to do cocktail and tartar sauce, but there's another sauce that you can make that goes very well with fried fish, even blackened fish. Like with this dish, I do the Creole remoulade. I prefer it, it goes well, it goes well with the, with the, the panko breadcrumbs and the andouille, it brings out the flavor of the whole Creole dish. And this is my andouille crusted oyster dish with a Creole remoulade. <laughs> right at the what? boat. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a nice one to take out of here. Kind of an unexpected bite. Right at the boat. You were lifting it think, out of the water, weren't you? Taking it out of the water. I think Captain Ronnie tried to leave the boat on that one. I about stepped out the other <laughs> side. <laughs> he was getting away from it. it was a nice little, let's see. I didn't know what you 14 inch on. fish. You eat well. Oh, another one. Another one. Look, him. there's three of them right there. Look at that one right there. One just went under the boat, bigger than him. Ah, oh, that's another good fish. Yes, indeed. Oh, nice. Nice three and a half pounder. Good job. Yeah. You know, up here in these shallows, those fish nice are swimming fat belly. together. Let's see how long this one is. 18 incher, 17 and three quarters. Nice fish. Boy, I tell you what, doesn't get much more fun than what we've done today. 30 plus fish, some good fish, three and four pounders. Randy, I appreciate you bringing us out here. I appreciate it, man. Thanks yeah. for having me. A lot of fun, largemouth bass, springtime action. Y'all be sure to tune in again next week. Sure we'll be back on the saltwater. And check out the Facebook page between now and then. Give us a like while you're there. The Fisherman's Guide presented by the Hollywood Casino. Today's episode brought to you by Ocean Marine, Sportsman's Boats, Sport Trail Trailers, Soundwaves Marine Outfitters, Past Purchasing, Crystal Seas, The Spine Institute, Hook, Gulf Coast Cuisine, Egret Baits, Matrix Shad, Sea to Swamp Outfitters, Pure Fishing, Counting Solutions for the Small Business, Parker Poles, Mojo, Salt Life Optics.